Hi everybody, hope you're all having a great day. So on Facebook last week I mentioned that I wanted to do some do-it-yourself projects with shoes I already have in my own collection, but maybe I don't wear them as much anymore because maybe the style doesn't really fit with my style anymore, or they're just old shoes, scuffed up shoes, whatever it is. So what I want to do is take those shoes and breathe some new life into them by doing different projects with them. Um, glitter painting, studs, rhinestones, all sorts of different things that I want to try with them. And I'm going to film the process along the way and share it with you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I know some of you guys are interested in seeing that too. So if you all do want to do any of the projects, then you'll be able to see how to do it, what to use, and all that sort of stuff. So for this first one, I'm doing rhinestone heels, which I'm very excited about because I think it's going to be perfect for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is next week, so if you all are interested in doing this project, then, you know, hopefully this will give you the time to get it done in. It's not uh, very hard to do, and you should be able to find this stuff pretty easily, I hope. I thought these would be perfect for New Year's because when I think of New Year's, I think of that big sparkly ball in New York City or um, glitter, confetti, sparkly sequin dresses, metallics. You're going to see it everywhere, I promise. If you go out on New Year's, you're going to see some sparkle somewhere. I completed one shoe so that I have a finished one to show you and then the other one I'm going to show you the process of getting it done so that um, you guys can get started and kind of know what I did to do mine so I'm just taking these black heels that you've seen me wear so many times just my black peep toe heels and another idea if you want to do more than the heel I just did the heel but you could also do the platform if you want a little extra bling on there so um, anyway we're going to take a shoe that looks like this and then we're going to turn it into this shoe right here. If you guys can see the rhinestones on that. one final look at the two shoes side by side the plain black and then the one with the rhinestones on it to do this one I used six different sizes of rhinestones because that's what came in the irox container and I really like it because it's a nice little dimensioned effect the first thing I'm going to do is take my heat setting tool and turn it on all you do is push it up like that to turn it on and I'm going to start with a big rhinestone first. And what I'm going to do is just set it in place. Starting at the edge of the heel and the center of the heel. So up there on the seam where the shoe meets the heel is where I've got it set. And then what you do with your heat setting tool, you push this button in to activate the heat. And then you set this down on the rhinestone. And you hold it for 15 seconds. And it's going to activate the glue in there. It's going to melt it and stick it to the shoe. So now that we've got the first one on there, I'm going to move on and use a different size. I like to sort of alternate between sizes. I don't do it in a certain style. I don't do it in a line or anything. I just kind of fit the different sizes together. So I'm going to use a smaller size. And again, I'm just going to set it up there in place. Then uh, push the button in to turn it on. You'll see the light turns on when it's on. And then I'm just going to affix it to the shoe. So there's what the second one looks like. I do like to leave a little bit of space in between them just so I can see the black from behind. So it's not too overwhelming, too many rhinestones. So I do see a little, little space. And right here where you can see the little gap in between these, I'm going to place a super small rhinestone just to fill that in. Wherever I see an open space, I add a rhinestone. So I'm going to push that one up in there. 
and then I'm going to glue that one down. I just look at the spot in between them, like in between these two. It's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to add the stone. And it's okay if the same size is side by side, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, you just keep doing this over and over, filling them up, alternating with the different sizes until you fill up your whole heel. And then it will look like this one. Okay guys, so you just keep doing that. You just keep adding rhinestones to your shoe until you've got it completely filled up. Like I said, I don't do it in a straight line or anything. I just sort of alternate sizes in between there. So it'll look like that. Because a lot of the shoes I see, that's how they do. They use different size rhinestones. So I just went with that concept. So instead of, you know, doling out like $100 or more for a pair of shoes like this, because a lot of the ones I like do cost a little bit more money, I just simply did my own at home for a lot less. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of semi-tutorial. I know I didn't go through the whole thing because it takes a couple of hours to do. So at least I have a done one to show you. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys like it. If you try it out, let me know how it works out for you. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.